Have you ever given something to someone and you felt as though it was a disadvantage to you? Like if you gave somebody some money, did you ever feel like, man, I really don't have it to give. I really don't know if I should have given that person this money. I shouldn't have given away my clothes. I shouldn't have given away my car, whatever it is. Have you ever felt as though a little regret when you gave away something? Let me encourage you. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. And you want to know why he feels cheerful when we give? Because when we give, we're not losing, we're gaining. If you really think about it, when you give, your hand opens like this. Why do you think your hand opens when you give away? It's because you're getting something back. What you're getting is, a, is a, you're equipping somebody with something that you've given them. You may have given them not, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, material things, money, cars, clothes. I just use those as, as examples. But what if you gave them a life skill that they can then deposit that skill or allow that skill to help somebody else? You gained a person that is of value and they gave somebody something that does not have value. You've given them an invaluable skill. You've teaching, you've teach them an invaluable lesson. And now they're giving. And now what they're getting is somebody that may be able to help someone else or may be able to help them in a different capacity. We're all linked together where we can give and we can also receive knowledge. We can receive benefits or the byproducts of, of skills, of gifts, of different talents that we all have. We all have di different special and unique abilities. But if we're not giving them and we're continually holding them, we can't give if our hands are closed like this. We're holding on to our stuff. Oh, it's mine. Oh, you know what? All this knowledge that I have, I'm not sharing it with anybody. So guess what? My fist will continually be balled up. And with my hands balled up, I can't receive anything, nor am I giving anything. And it's because I'm not giving that my hands are closed. So now I'm asking God to bless me. I'm asking God to do different things for me. How could I receive it? My hands are closed. I can't even pray because my hands are not folded. If you look at it from a, a posture perspective, I'm grudgingly holding it. Second Corinthians 9, 7 talks about not to, to give and not give gr grudgingly. Like, I'm like, oh, you know, no, nah, it's my stuff. It's our stuff. We're not supposed to have our gifts and talents and just keep them for ourselves. We're supposed to share with the world. The world needs us to not be, be stingy with the talents that God has blessed us with. He's blessed each and every one of us uniquely. And he's waiting for you to use those talents to help other people. It's almost like when you make an investment, you want a return on your investment. Your return on your investment is depositing that gift or what you have into that person. You're giving them something that's going to allow for them to elevate to the next level. And that is your return on investment. You have a brother and sister that can help another brother and sister that can help another brother and sister that can also help another brother and sister. And now you have a community of brothers and sisters who can help one another. And then in turn, wait a minute. Oh, we're helping one another. Now we're all benefiting. You see how that works? If we change our perspective, we can change the world. Will you join me in changing the world one person at a time? We don't have to have millions of people at once. It'd be great, right? But if we can change one person at a time, each and every one of us, you yourself as you're watching this video, if we could change one person at a time and then that person can change another person, one person at a time, how many people can we change? Let's turn this world upside down by being that change, by not being stingy and just give. Let's give and see what happens. We haven't been giving. And we know what happens. So let's give and see what happens.